Hey y'all. <laughs> Today I'm having some Taco Bell. Yep. It was suggested to me and I, I took that one seriously because it's something that I haven't done and it's something that I don't do normally. I don't usually like like get on the, the like trendy stuff like like stuff that's new at restaurants and all that stuff but it's stuff that i wanted to try so here we are <laughs> so i got the the green avocado salsa yep avocado verde salsa i got five of those oh shoot <clears throat> That's probably the cantina chicken, soft taco. Oh God, I don't even know what all I got now. I'm gonna have to go look. Jeez, oh, I got more of the sauces. I didn't realize it was so big. I even got a power bowl. I don't ever get those from Taco Bell, <clears throat> but it was available. So I was like, I'm gonna do the whole, <clears throat> get my phone. I'm going to do the whole menu. <laughs> what did I do? What, what, what are these even called? I'm, my memory is horrible, you guys. Horrible. <laughs> okay, let's open up. DoorDash, my phone don't recognize me. There. Open. Finally. <laughs> that just goes to show you the face made up <laughs> is a total mess. My phone don't even recognize me with makeup on. <laughs> Jeez. All right. What what do I actually have here? Rating my dasher. Great job. Okay. Catalina chicken bowl over here. Oh, I got a bunch of the sauces. Well, I got five menu items. Besides the zero sugar Baja ha blast. <laughs> so I got the, the, it's Cantina. I want to say Catalina. Why do I want to say Catalina? I don't know. But uh, the C C Cantina chicken bowl. The, oh, this must be the quesadilla. I never get a quesadilla from Taco Bell. Never. I, I've never. I don't know. Have I ever? Had the case stiff from Taco Bell? I don't remember. I might have had a bite of Susan's one time. Uh, so that's the, the quesadilla. I got the cantina chicken burrito. The cantina, I'm guessing, crispy taco. And the cantina soft chicken taco. And I got a whole bunch of the avocado verde sauce packets. Mm, I'm not going to add any photos. Let's just do it. And let's first let's bust open this Baja Blast. I'm actually really hungry today. I mean, yesterday I had three pieces of pizza and some chewy spree candies. What was that? Man, and I don't, you know, you're talking about my health at all or my emotions and my mental health always gets like a whole lot of backlash but you know what i don't give a mm, right now so <laughs> the last two days i've been having the day fever thing going on again at night for whatever reason there's absolutely no pain no swelling this is like the second month in a row that this has happened Mm. It's definitely zero sugar, but still delicious. Still good. The Baja Blast is good. Anyway, oh, what am I doing? Anyway, let's open this. So, fever. Night before last, it was 101.9. So, it was like borderline getting high there. Oh, more of the sauce. Damn. I wonder if this... Oh, no, that's just guacamole, avocado, that's sour cream. Oh, okay, so each little, they're, they're all like in the, the portions of the, the quesadilla there are like in order. So, 
go along with me for the ride here. Right before last, it was 101.9. Last night, it was 100.9. And there's absolutely no symptoms. I'm actually feeling really good during the day. Like, a little more energy, feeling a little stronger, um, um, less inflammation. I'm walking around better. So, is it the eclipse, you guys? Am I being somehow affected by the eclipse? Oh, God, that looks good. Why don't I do this kind of thing more often? Look at that. That's That looks healthy, sort of. Kind of healthy. So. <laughs> Oh, man. So it's got the beans. I'm, I'm imagining it might have rice somewhere in there. It's got the, the like, pico de gallo kind of thing there. A little red cabbage. Lettuce. I don't know exactly what that is. That might be some kind of... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe uh, some kind of ranch type thing. And this is all the cantina chicken. I like it. Looks good. Okay, let's open the burrito. So I'm going to open the burrito and I'm going to put other stuff on top of the burrito paper. So we have kind of a base. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. All right, so, so the eclipse, y'all. I mean... Dang it. My fat just droops down and everything. <laughs> this is the hard, crispy, the crispy. I won't say hard tacos, it's crisp. It's supposed to be crispy. <sighs> oh. Interesting. I'm just going to layer every, oh God. It's got an interesting kind of sauce there, too. <clears throat> oh, I like the look of the soft taco already. That looks more fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. I'm going to take it out of its... Should I take it out of its paper? It's stuck a little bit. <clears throat> oh, geez, I taste the cilantro. I have a, a, a bit of an issue with cilantro. I don't care for it very much. Um, but when it's mixed in really well with other things, I can't, I don't focus on it. It's not horrible, horrible. I just kind of take it for what it is. Not my favorite flavor, but I, you know, I'll tolerate it. <laughs> tolerate it because I want to get the full experience of whatever I'm having like pho you know they, they usually give you the cilantro with that too oh no not pho that's basil what is it that has that cilantro? I don't even remember some kind of Mexican place maybe I don't know but I just just experienced the cilantro Oh, I didn't get a fork. I didn't get any kind of utensil, you guys. Gotta, gotta resort to the, uh, to the snack cart. Do I have any? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. See? Good. Also have a crap ton of fire sauces from my last event. Oh, and my Altoids for my... <laughs> okay. Altoids decided to pop up. I'm going to just leave that close by. <sighs> anyway, so... Uh, when is the eclipse supposed to be anyway? Isn't it supposed to be like next week? Man, I'm, I'm just... My food's pretty hot. Taco Bell's like, like right around the corner, so it's no biggie. When is the eclipse? 2024. When is it? April 8th. What day? It's the 5th. <clears throat> okay, so I'm wondering if I'm going to be like feverish for the next few days. It's 
freaking weird. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm having some wild illusion that, that maybe I'm, I'm going to be one of them super werewolves. <sighs> like, ow! <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm manic right now. I'm very manic. I'm, I'm just... I'm a bit mad. I'm throwing stuff. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? That was the knife. I don't care. Anyway, I'm... Oh, God. What do I want first? <sighs> I think I want the quesadilla first. Quesadilla, quesadilla. Okay. It's not, like, cut or anything, so... They just folded it up in there. And maybe I did need the knife. No, it's got little cuts in it. Okay. Oh, it's not cut very well. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm pretty delusional about stuff anyway. I mean, you know, I believe all kind of crazy crap about myself. <sighs> I don't go into a lot of it, though. Because I'm weird enough as it is. Mm. Alright. Mm. Mm. Let's try this salsa. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> just, I just thought it was stupid funny, you know. Come on. It's got to be so difficult. Mm. All right, let's get a middle piece. Mmm. Mmm. I like the chicken. Mmm. 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 I like the salsa too. Mmm. Mmm. Oh no, I saw this meme. <laughs> I was just, I thought it was funny. But I'm like, why am I having these fevers? And people are screaming, call the doctor. I'm like, why? Give them money to tell me something? They probably don't know what the hell. Ain't that, just stop. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> I don't know, I don't trust doctors. I don't like doctors. I don't want to deal with doctors. Every time I go to the doctor, they tell me something I don't like. <laughs> and it's not just about being fat, you know. So, uh, nah. <laughs> I would rather not. I would prefer not to. Let me put some. Oh man. Let me just get a bite of this on its own. Mm. A good taste for the chicken. Mmm. I never get the chicken stuff from Taco Bell either. It's just not something I go for. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that is, that's pretty tasty. I'm digging it. Mmm. -hmm. <clears throat> was it that gave me oh really so Taco Bell's guacamole is like it's got some texture to it at least you know my favorite Mexican place mmm mmm oh shoot that's good my favorite Mexican place I'm sorry, <laughs> but their guacamole is garbage. I did not like it. 
It was runny. How do you make runny guacamole? Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 I don't know. I don't know what the hell, but didn't care for it. That's actually kind of tasty. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh, I'm being fat. <laughs> I'm being really fat right now. All right. So this taco, this crispy cantina chicken taco, looks like it's encased in crispy melted cheese and it's loaded with chicken. Doesn't have any fresh ingredients on it or anything, but I'm betting it tastes pretty good. And I'm still gonna put some of this salsa on it because I've got like a lot of it. Mmm. Oh, that was a nice texture. Mmm. 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 Oh, digging it. Man, I wanted a salad so bad today. And I was thinking about it and I was like. You know what? <laughs> as bad as I want a salad, I'm going to kick it up. Kicking it up, kicking it off. <laughs> Give people what they want. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's about to bust out the bottom. Hmm. So that's a corn tortilla on that. Okay, that's why it says crisp because it's a corn tortilla. Because I took that bite, that last bite, and because, uh, I guess because the cheese is, is like cooked onto it, it cook the cornmeal and the the crispy taco a little bit more and it almost tasted like a tamale and I kind of a tamale flavor to it no I almost had corn <laughs> it's awesome and the sauce is really good I'll be having to find stuff to eat it on mm. Mm. being as this is an avocado based sauce I don't know if I should like save it like you know what I mean because they're they're cold they're actually cold so I'm a little bit worried about doing that you know people keep these packets for fucking ever huh, I cussed I'm sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm such a I've got a potty mouth, you guys, like in real life. Y'all yeah, don't know how much I censor myself here. I mean, really. You know, people that like follow my my personal Facebook, you know, I don't add people on there. You know, not unless I kind of get to know them first, you know. I've got fans that have, have made it. Dang, this is really annoying. Why do they make that so hard? Why does that not want to come off? Okay, that's a big complaint. Because they give you this, like, way to, like, peel the top off. If it don't want to come off, what's the freaking point? I mean, really? <laughs> but, oh, excuse me. Anyway, people that follow over there, they... All of my posts are public. Mm. Unless it's something super personal. 
which if it's super personal, I wouldn't be sharing it to Facebook anyway. You know, but my posts are public. And I do have a Hungry Fat Chick page. There are more than one, but only one is mine, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> At the end of the video, you should see, like, the list of my social media accounts. <clears throat> I forget if there's an underscore in the middle or at the end, but in most of my social media accounts, there's an underscore somewhere. Mm. And that's likely because some other jerk has impostered me. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> all the way back to the very beginning, uh, 2002, when I started, I mean, maybe not right then, but like within the first few years, I had already like garnered a, a, a tiny amount of fame. And this is in my corn days. Corn days. You know, but there were like people popping up, you know, imposters, imposters. Karen Godiva, imposters. <clears throat> and it's so funny. I mean, back then, I got so popular at one point. I mean, and I say that, but it wasn't like big money popular. It was just a little, little bit of notoriety because I did a couple of like TV shows that were syndicated internationally, worldwide, whatever. And they were UK based television programs. You know, um, I don't know if people remember the show Sin Cities with Ashley Ames, name dropping there. <laughs> but apparently, my my episode made it also into their uh, one of their best of shows. Mm. I was topless and I sat on the dude. There's that. <laughs> I sat on him and he didn't seem to mind it because when I got up, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he might not have thought he liked fat girls, but <laughs> he did in that moment. <laughs> mm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does that bother you? <laughs> mm. Anyway, so on my Facebook, my regular, like, personal Facebook, I don't hold back with my F-bombs. I'm like, F this, F that. <laughs> um, I don't care. That's just the way I am. That's the way I talk. But here I try to be careful. And I, this, this channel is not geared towards children in any way. No. <laughs> I would prefer it if they did not watch my channel. Because this ain't no way to live. You know, sitting around stuffing your face all day. This ain't no way to live. I don't know what to be. You know. It might look easy. It might look fun. But... Well, this is my neighbor, sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm saving the, the soft taco because it looks so good. Hmm. Kind of want to open the burrito. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. I dropped my knife on the floor, so I'm not even going to attempt to get the knife. I'm going to see if I can bust this open. Excuse me. By perforating it. Mm. Okay. Open says me. Ha ha. Uh, ooh. Ooh. 
sloppy delicious. Try not to get so much dang sauce on my fat arms. Let me just drop all that in there. Bust up another one. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Oh, man. Mmm. Ooh, wee. I gotta get a fresh napkin. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Man, I didn't lost my train of thought. I totally lost it. Got stoned and I missed it. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Y'all ever heard of Dr. Hook? <laughs> a decent band. You know, sang some really silly songs back in the day. And that one, I got stoned and I missed it. That's one. I think my favorite by them, though, way back then, was Cover of the Rolling Stone. <laughs> that was funny. It was leaking. Mmm, that was good. Mmm. Mmm. I dribbled. Mmm. Holy. Ah. Man, I got that song just playing in my head now. <laughs> Wanna see my smiling face on the cover of a rolling stone? <laughs> I can't sing, y'all. I apologize. <laughs> I love my internal jukebox. It can be a little annoying at times, but the music in my head keeps me company. Come on. Oh, there we go again. Yeah, so I mentioned in the beginning about the fever thing, and it's like, don't worry about it. I mean, I feel fine. I feel fine. If I didn't feel fine, I would go to the hospital. I would consult somebody. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Damn. Mm. <clears throat> And apparently I have a doctor that I've never actually seen <laughs> but they're prescribing me medication so okay then <clears throat> I'll go with that hmm <laughs> I need my albuterol. Mm. <laughs> the burrito is not my favorite. It's good, but it's not my favorite. Mm. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to eat all this. I ain't even playing. I'm going to eat all of this. <clears throat> Every last bit. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 
Mm. I may still have a salad later. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. I think this power bowl might suffice. Though, it's kind of salady. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Wanna see my smiling face on the cover of the Rolling Stone? Rolling Stone. <laughs> People ask me like what my favorite kind of YouTube creators are, what kind of channels I like to watch. Mm. Mm. Lately I've been watching a lot of music reaction channels. You know, I started out like watching a lot of like hip hop, you know, and rap folks. You know, checking out some of my favorite bands and their music and stuff first. And there's a few of them I really, really like. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There's this one I've been watching a lot lately. Black Pegasus. I believe is, is the name of the channel. Mm. Mm. It's like the, the 40 year old 40YO uh, FUQ boys. Anyway, the Black Pegasus guy. I've watched a lot of his reactions and stuff. And I've really been enjoying his, his, his reactions. But recently... It just popped up. There's this this girl <laughs> that I watched, and she she was like raised on like classical opera, that kind of thing. Oh goodness, I'm just spitting stuff that I'm just spitting everywhere. <laughs> okay. Um, the charismatic voice. Oh my God, she is so, so cute. I was like, crush. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Mm. I kind of forget what the first video was that I saw from her because before I passed out this morning, second sleep or something. Mm. I saw her cover a live version of Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love. This poor girl, she had no idea. No idea. I mean, she <laughs> her first her first Led Zeppelin song that she, you know, um, reviewed. Mm. was Cashmere, okay? Wonderful song. The whole I love, man, that is a that is a different animal right there. <clears throat> and through the whole thing, oh goodness. I'm like got a avocado salsa spill that happened. <laughs> but um this wasn't just Dang, I dropped it. This wasn't just a dang, like, music review. It was a vocal analysis. So, it's like, as she's going through the song, she's like, she's like backing up and listening to each part, like, for intricate details and, and you know, the, the slides in, in Robert Plant's voice, uh, the up, you know, up slides and the, the woo, dip thong. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Anyway, I just, I loved it. And it took her quite a while to figure out what the song was about. 
and the blushing, the blush. She was like, oh, oh my. <laughs> she was just like, oh my. I'm like, why am I spitting everywhere? <sighs> anyway, by the end of the whole experience, I felt for, I was like, good girl. You know, I, I, I you know, <laughs> you know, I just, I felt like she needed a cigarette at the end. I really did. Hmm. <laughs> mm. And I'm sure that's what some of y'all feel like after you're done watching me eat. Like that girl needs a cigarette. <laughs> but seriously, food does not do to me anywhere near what the sound of Robert Plant's voice does to me. Robert Plant's voice, the only thing I can I can like liken it to is ASMR. I mean, besides like Tibetan throat singing or shamanic throat singing, those sounds produce like tingles, goosebumps, chills, what what have you. Every time I hear Robert Plant's voice, certain songs like affect me differently, but it's it's what I like to call audio orgasms. Now y'all y'all like to talk about food food gasms. You know, food is pleasurable, but it doesn't have it doesn't have an effect on my body. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, the hair on my arms doesn't stand up and my toes ain't curling. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. Robert Plant's voice does to me what the sound of Harley Davidson does what the sound of a whip crack does. My body's just like, woo! <laughs> you know, just tangles. <laughs> mm. I mean, and that's a whole different thing than an actual, you know, orgasm. I mean, these feelings aren't anywhere near attached to my vajayjay. <laughs> I'm like, it's not the same. I mean, people are acting like I'm, I'm like in a puddle when I'm done eating. I mean, y'all are gross. <laughs> y'all are freaking gross. Stop. <laughs> it's just food. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I was so like thankful that, that somebody is reviewing Led Zeppelin like that. That, that people, period are reviewing Led Zeppelin because they're my number one favorite of all time band. I've never heard one, not one song by them that I didn't get feels from, you know. I mean, not those kind of feels, but like, like emotion, um, <clears throat> enjoyment <laughs> of some sort. Uh, I just freaking love love Led Zeppelin. I mean, and there there are a lot of bands that that make me feel this way. I mean, you know, like David Bowie, singers, band singers, whatever. Mm. Trent Reznor. Mm. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Mm. I mean, I really love music. I've never played an instrument. You know, I actually, back in like grade school, I was in chorus and I sang. But, um, <clears throat> like around fourth grade, I started having these really bad sinus issues. Um, oh God. <laughs> Post nasal drip. I mean, it's sorry, gross for eating, but. Um, so that really, that affected my voice. Plus the smoking. I mean, and uh, sm smoking, there are plenty of singers out there that smoke. I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a thing in some, like, rock <laughs> circles or whatever. You know, it adds to, like, this rapsy, rap, raspiness in the vocals. And I love it, but... <sighs> 
you know, I don't feel like I can carry a tune in a bucket now. <laughs> and I feel like even then I only got into chorus because they just needed people in that class. <laughs> Oh man, oh God, another one is LP. If y'all know, y'all know. LP, she's got this voice. They, and they them, they them now. They have this amazing voice and this amazing range and all of these little, little add-ons, like the little whistles and oh my God. Absolutely amazing. They give me the tingles too. Oh, I lost some chicken. I lost some chicken. Chicken, chicken. Y'all, I am out of my freaking mind right now. <laughs> Y'all probably see the wildness in my eyes. <laughs> oh God, but I'm I'm feeling great. So, hey, feel great, go crazy. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna drip. Mmm. 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 No, I really like the, the avocado sauce. The um, Verde. I taste the Verde. Mmm. 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 -hmm. So the red cabbage is part of the whole cantina experience, I believe. Hmm. I'm gonna try my favorite sauce on it. See if it's okay. Oh, now the LP like lost on you song is is going <laughs> going on in my head. <laughs> the the jukebox just kicked in. <laughs> Dang. Mm. Mm. And it's the live version too. They are just astounding. Mm. Mm. I'd love to review music. Mm. On an alternate channel. Mm. And see what happens. Mm. I don't know if it could get monetized. <clears throat> and while there's probably music that I haven't heard that I would like to review, I think my main goal would be to share some of the classic rock in like golden oldies country classic country things like that 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 some of the young people today you know there there's probably even like like gen x people that haven't even heard a lot of this music i mean seriously you know the gen xers these days you know they grew up on the 80s music for the most part you know um <clears throat> So th there's a lot of music that I could share and then share my emotions with these different tunes and stuff. Mm. Oh, that's a thought. Mm. I mean, shoot, I've already got a gaming channel that I ignore. Why not have a music review channel that I ignore? <laughs> oh, shoot. You know, people think I sit in the comments every day, all day, deleting comments and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, sometimes I'll get in the comments, you know, and I'll have like a sassy comeback to somebody here and there. But, shoot, I barely have the energy to do this much. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, and then I got to take about two hours later on tonight and edit. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a lot to do, but yet somehow I still skip days. 
because I just don't have it in me sometimes to complete the simplest tasks. <laughs> F my life. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Now, I don't understand. Oops. Why? <clears throat> all the sauce is on one side and all the cheese is on the other side. <laughs> So I'm going to mix it up a little bit cheapers while I got it open there. And let's give it the sauce. Oh, yeah. She just squirted. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. I should have saved some sour cream for that. Right up. Oh, that's good. Mmm. 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 That's just as fresh as I thought it would be. Mmm-hmm. Delicious. Mmm. So I tell you, music review channels I'm I really enjoy because it's introducing music that's kind of like older and not not sought out as much and it's like being introduced to like a younger crowd and they're experiencing it for the first time and I'm like I'm watching these people like like understand this music and I'm like yay <laughs> You get it. <laughs> mm. I'm sure there's a lot of like hip hop and rap songs that I could probably listen to if they were suggested to me that I would I would want to try to understand and, and, and appreciate. You know. Mm. Because I truly do love and appreciate all forms of music. You know, and artistic expression. Mm. 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 Uh, I need more of that salsa. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. I'm doing pretty good on these sauces. <laughs> I just I love it when they when they stop the video and they're like, "Whoa, what did I just hear?" <laughs> mm. Mm. Such a nice, nice thing to witness. <laughs> when I was a teenager, you know, I had grown up on all that stuff, all the, all the classic rock. You know, I had heard it, but I didn't like get it. You know what I mean? You know, I was raised by my grandparents, so they introduced me to a lot of old country, a lot of like golden oldies, like oldie, oldie, oldies. <laughs> mm. And it was a good like early musical education for me. Mm. And it opened me up to a lot of music. You know, I, th I think the only music that I didn't really understand at that point was jazz. I was like, eh. But I mean, I'm kind of get into it now. I kind of understand it now. Mm. But when I was a teenager, 
Oh, it's all about that that glam hair metal, you know, kind of kind of vibe, you know, for for most of it. And then I kind of got into some of the harder stuff. Mm. Mm. Me and my mother, we kind of kind of. I don't know. I don't know if we argued or butted heads or anything like that about music. I mean, I, I know there was a conversation that I remember, you know, and I was like, but it's all about those electric guitars and whatever like that. And she was like, you want to talk about guitars? Listen to this. <laughs> And that's probably when I was first introduced to like Led Zeppelin and some of the other greats, you know, those guitar solos, like a freaking 20 minute guitar solo kind of situation. And you're like, you're like transported to another universe, you know, just listening to this guitar talk, you know, and, and just all of those emotions pouring out of this instrument. It's like, wow. <laughs> It's incredible. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, I was hooked at that point, you know? And, and I started, like, going down these musical rabbit holes and stuff. Different different styles of music. I ended up, like, in, in the even in the punk realm. And I uh, listened to a little ska. <laughs> I mean, I just, just, you name it. World music. I was, like, all over the place. Like, I was just really into it. Mm. 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 But as an older person now, I pretty much settled into my favorite style of music. Is it going to be music from the 60s, 70s, stuff like that. That's kind of my vibe. You know, um, not like disco vibes, just like rock and roll, like heavy rock and roll things, you know, like, like you want to talk rock gods. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. That's the stuff. Man, I'm really full, you guys. But I did save the best for last. I'm just assuming this is going to be really good. Mmm. That's a shame I'm so full, though. Mmm. I'm about to get it in. Get it in. Mmm. I'm gonna sauce it because I can. I'm gonna add one more. And then I'll have two left and I'm gonna put those in the fridge. <clears throat> ah, dang it. <clears throat> There's a little more conversation in this video than I thought there would be. You know, start out talking about eclipses and super werewolves and then I get into this really long musical tirade. You know, but it, it's all about like <laughs> it started up because that's that's the the YouTube channels I've been watching lately. You know, I just I oh I, that's not the only ones I've been watching. I've also been watching like gamers, you know, or game gamer slash commenta commentators like Asmongold. Love his videos. I, I just I, there's just something about him. I'm I find him funny. <laughs> I was watching this transmog competition from like several years ago. You know, he's like hardly even doing the wow thing anymore. Even though yesterday he was like preparing for like this update season, season four, update, something like that. He was preparing for some kind of update. So he was going from um, 40 to 60 in level in one video. It took him eight hours, but I didn't, I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched part of it, but... Uh, anyway, years ago in this transmog competition, <coughs> he 
he was like going from person to person and then this one of course female character you know because why not play a female female character especially if you're a dude especially if you're a dude because <laughs> i'm telling you what most of my characters are female i mean i have a few few male characters as well you know i mean eye candy come on <laughs> Yeah, I've got I've got a weird thing. I love my tunes and I'll create character after character and dress them up <laughs> Make them dance for gold It's just fun. I'll just love it uh, Anyway, why not make a female character if you're a dude because when you're running around doing stuff if you've got a character that's in this 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 bikini plate bikini type transmog you know and they're running around and watching yeah it's it's, it's a little bit twisted but you know <laughs> it's an option <laughs> oh gosh anyway so he's 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 judging this one char character and uh i'm gonna say she just because and oh god there is rice yay <laughs> because you know she's doing the uh, the competition and I, I don't know if she was trying to like garner some favor or whatever but she's like and I'm a real girl I'm, I'm a real female or something like that I'm or I'm a girl in real life and he's like no you're not no nope. <laughs> no you're not girls don't play video games. girls don't exist in wow <laughs> girls don't play well and I was like, oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> oh god, there's more of us out there than you think. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you ever <laughs> ended up in a bedroom up in the inn in Goldshire, the Lion's Pride, and you're doing all the things. <laughs> all the things. And then somehow you find out you were, you were, you know, doing the gay. <laughs> and you got your little heart broken because it wasn't a real girl you were playing with. Oh, God. <laughs> I just find it hilarious. <laughs> oh, you know, don't ruin the fantasy. <laughs> Oh crap. <laughs> so yeah, there are no girls in, because you got to believe if if you're a a, a dude, okay? A, 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 a homophobic dude, I I should say, cuz most dudes, some dudes, they, they don't care. You know, just whatever, you know, whatever works at the time. <laughs> but if you're a dude and wow, you know, and and you don't want to get surprise just believe just fully fully believe there are no girls and wow so you won't get sucked in <laughs> and you just just paid like a thousand gold to somebody to, to do a little dance on your face <laughs> oh hell <laughs> Okay, anyway, I just, yeah, so Asmongold, yeah, I've been watching him play, and I've been watching his, like, commentary stuff on different things lately. Uh, that's a big piece of cabbage. I'm going for that first. Mm. <laughs> and there are a few others, like Nixium. I like Nixium. Mm. <laughs> but... If it has to do with WoW, I'm probably going to try to watch a little bit of it until I, you know, get bored and switch off. Because I have a very, very short attention span. <laughs> mm. Okay, I want to give this a better shot here. Because I'm not knowing if I'm... It's the cabbage. The cabbage was overpowering in that bite. That was another big bite of cabbage. Hmm. So this is in no way anything like a salad. Hmm. It's not bad. 
Personally, I could have done without the beans and rice. Mm. I don't customize anything in any of these items. Mm. Huh. But I should have. I don't care for the beans and rice. I mean, on their own, the beans are great. Mm. But like they're mixed all around in this stuff. Mm. Mm. Should have got more lettuce. <laughs> X the beans and rice give me more lettuce. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. So I'm I'm full anyway, so I'm not gonna force myself to eat something that I don't care for. <clears throat> Oh my god, this is a really long video. Kind of sorry, but I just got on these long tangents and I couldn't stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that was the cantina chicken menu at Taco Bell, the whole thing. And the only thing that was kind of like, mm, that I should have, you know, changed around a little bit was the Power Bowl. You know, that's, pro that's probably why I don't order them. <laughs> I'm like no I don't I don't want the I don't care for your beans and rice I guess because I, I just I was hoping it to be like more salad like and it's not mm. I don't know what I'm doing with a power bowl it's not my go-to probably add a crap ton more more sauce to it <laughs> and just bound it out later for a evening snack <laughs> mm. let me <clears throat> off mm. <clears throat> cover it back up put that in the fridge too anyway I love you guys <laughs> and I really hope y'all are doing great I hope y'all are feeling good. I hope y'all are being blessed like you should be because abundance is what the universe wants for us all. We just have to reach for it and we have to like be positive, be happy. <laughs> Take it light, man. Life shouldn't be so freaking serious. You know, all these negative people out there just like putting out all this negative energy in the world. I mean, stop. You're hurting yourself. You know, you put negativity out into the world. You're like, you're feeling all these neg like, oh, 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 I hate this person. You know, and it's like you're 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 hurting you're hurting your soul. You know, because in all honesty, I'm you. You're me. You know, we're one. You know, what you see in me is a reflection of things you hate in yourself. You know, please, please, please. Just, just try kindness for a change, you know? <laughs> You'll feel so much better in your life overall, you know? You, you know that old saying, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all, you know? And you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and also thank you so much to all the people out there that actually have nice things to say about me, about the world, about themselves, about life. You know, kindness is not hard. You know, the, the biggest commandment in, in, in everything should be, don't be a dick. <laughs> Just don't. You don't have to be. You know, it, it takes a lot less energy to be kind. You know. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you for being here. And I will see you next time. Mwah. <laughs> Bye now.